All right, today on this 2011 Ford E350 van, we're gonna show you the Kurt Class 3 two-inch receiver hitch, part number 13055. This is what the Kurt Class 3 receiver hitch looks like on our Ford E350 van. Now our hitch by itself is rated for 600 pounds ton weight, which is the force pulling down on it, and a 6,000 pound pull rate rating. Now when you add a weight distribution assembly to it, the ton weight goes up to 800 pounds, and 8,000 pounds of pulling weight. Now always double check your owner's manual to make sure that your van is capable of pulling these kinds of weights. At first glance, you can see that it fits below the bumper, and it is a round tube construction on the main body of the hitch, and that the receiver opening does go past the bumper. All right, we'll take a closer look at the receiver end. This is our two inch opening right here, and it has a nice rounded reinforcement collar around the end of it. And the receiver also uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin, or your favorite, locking pin. It uses a steel plate on the bottom with holes in it for your safety chains. And again, we have a round tube construction that actually goes back towards the angle towards the frame. So it looks kind of nice in contrast to the bumper. And all this is wrapped up in a powder coat finish. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top of a receiver opening down to the ground will be about 18 inches and from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper will be about one inch. All right, now our hitch is pretty easy to install. We'll go ahead and show you where the mounting points are on our van. Now there's multiple holes in the frame, but our hitch is going to use these two holes here and this one back here. All right, now this is a passenger side. It's gonna be identical over on the driver's side. One last thing to prepare your van is go ahead and lower a spare tire out of the way or just lower enough and scoot the tire back a little bit Sometimes the back of a tire will inter interfere with the hitch, but that's an easy fix. Just loosen it up, slide it forward, and tighten it back up. Or put it up against the hitch when you're done. Okay, now we can go ahead and install the hardware onto the frame of our van. Pretty simple stuff, this is gonna be all the same. We got this block with a square hole, which our carriage bolt will fit through. And all this hardware is going to be the same. So let's go ahead and take three of these and install it to the frame of our van. Okay, that's our passenger side. One more time on the driver's side. All right, with our hardware in place, let's go ahead and grab the next set of hands and put the hitch up towards the frame. Be careful and not push the bolts back into the frame and we'll loosely install the flange nuts on the bolts going towards the front and towards the bumper. Now, if our hitch is loose as possible, we'll go ahead and push this bolt up a little bit here and we'll go ahead and put that washer into place. It's a little bit easier to do it this way than trying to wrestle it and put the hitch up at the same time. That was our passenger side. Do the same thing on the driver's side. All right, now we'll go ahead and tighten down the hardware. We'll use a 19 millimeter or a three quarter inch socket for this. Now we'll torque them down with our torque wrench. All right, and with that, that'll finish it for the current Class 3 2-inch receiver hitch, part number 13055, on this 2011 Ford E350 van.